So Diablo 4 just released a huge announcement at GameCon, and we're going to break everything down and just show you what the new update is for the Season 2 theme, as well as monster changes that are going to hopefully help improve the game. So over here, we're going to go check this out. It is the Season of Blood dripping into sanctuary so it looks like it's going to be a vampire theme what i am going to do guys is leave a link to this down in the description so you guys can go see the announcement trailer if you guys have not already seen it we're not going to watch it live but what i want to do is just talk about all of the changes that are beginning to be coming to season two so October 17th is actually a really huge date. Keep this market on your calendar because this is exactly when uh, season one is going to end. So we're gonna get this update as soon as season one ends going in to season two. The announcement will be officially made. It's kind of crazy guys. Now, when I first watched the trailer, I was like, this is literally the same thing as the Malignant Hearts. Same theme, no creativeness there, but now we actually have a theme. So. We're going to be hunting vampires. Season of Blood will introduce a new quest line. Vampiric powers will be uh, used to be well wielded or wield against their originators. Five additional endgame bosses with the ability to target specific unique and uber unique items to drop and more. So this is huge. We've all been, claim uh, been complaining lately that target farming is just a waste of time and no one ever really finds uber uniques so what it looks like is is you're going to be able to defeat these end game bosses five different ones and have the chance to farm specific uh legendaries but more importantly or the uniques excuse me but the uber uniques so we can get our shackos new and returning foes for additional end game challenges i'm really excited to see who the end game bosses are and then re the renowned rewards it looks like these are still pretty much the exact same i think they're just reiterating this but rewards will carry over when completed on any prior character beyond uh, altars of lilith and the map discovery this includes potion charges skill points uh the oval cap upgrades as well as paragon points so the Paragon points, I don't know if this just means more than the 20 you get from doing all of your renown, but I don't know if it's more or not. Hopefully we'll see uh, in the future. And then additionally, they got some more community requested quality of life updates, more efficient inventory management for gems. We already knew this was coming, so that isn't really a change. The Paragon points, all of this stuff we just went over. Once you achieve them in an internal or previous seasonal realm character you're going to be able to bring them over so it looks like you only have to do that once which is going to be a huge change changes to the functionality status of effects as vulnerable overpower crit strike damage and also elemental resistances a big big change here the updates uh in the bullet above bullet and the ability to target specific unique and ultra unique items uh as a drop will be available in both seasonal and eternal realms that's very important so people who don't want to play seasonal characters and have to start over you already have your level 100 character you're going to be able to go play in the eternal realm and hunt down those uber uniques season of blood the status updates update elemental resistance system we have been asking for this for a very very long time basically since the game was announced and we got to test it early the system does not work still currently as 822 of this recording and they really needed to improve this because this really changes how our defenses work in the game vulnerable overpower and crit strike damage updates now as you guys know that vulnerability as well as critical strike damage are two huge multipliers to really take your damage over the top they were nerfed in the recent patch update a couple you know a few weeks ago for the season they were nerfed so i'm curious if like they're gonna pump you know like buff them again or nerf them even more overpower damage doesn't work the best right now so i'm gonna be guessing that that is gonna be a buff and a rework to make it work so hopefully we don't get two nerfs and a buff and they all get buffed gem and staff shafts we already know that the gems will no longer take inventory space they've already told us this at the start of season one but stash can now be searched and filtered thank god it is about time that we got a search function and a filter function for our inventory. Now, the only thing left that we need is to have more inventory space. So hopefully they bring that uh, to us as well. Watch the trailer below to meet uh, Eris, a vampire hunter who will walk you through. So if you guys want to watch the trailer, you definitely can. It's not too special at all. I really wanted to kind of just go over all of this stuff right here. This is absolutely a very, very big update. And I'm very, very happy to see that 
hopefully all this stuff is buffs everything is going to get fixed like elemental our stash stuff will get done the end game bosses for better target farming of uniques and uber uniques especially for like everyone who has been struggling with tempest roar you know the necromancer shield the shield of the littlest wall you know anything that you need for your particular builds this is probably going to be the best way to do it and then the five end game bosses i'm really curious to see who they are so um again i know diablo is in a really bad state right now guys and all i can hope for is that you know season of two going forward is really gonna just put us in the right direction okay i've talked about this many times on my live stream over here on youtube guys and i just want the game to be in a very good spot because the player base has fallen off completely basically nobody wants to play it right now and they're all off playing other things the season was kind of a letdown and there's just still so many issues with the game i hope that this is a big step in the right direction for the game and brings back a lot of players so guys i'm gonna link this down in the description of the video make sure to check it out watch the trailer like the video comment let me know what you guys think about all of this uh these new updates and make sure to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace